Hi guys, today we're going to unbox, assemble, and do a quick little demonstration with this 40 volt PowerSmart cordless trimmer edger. All right, it actually can rotate and adjust and go from an edger to a weed eater just that quick. It even has safety wheel here while you're edging and it has your little guide right here while you're weed eating so you don't beat up the wood. Never want to beat the wood. So when your trimmer arrives, this is how it's going to be, right? It's going to come in a box here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and rip into that. See what's in the box. See what it takes to put this thing together. Well, if I spill my coffee, Power Smart, you got, we're going to have problems. We're going to have problems. Guys, slow feet don't eat. Remember, slow feet don't eat. You need to be out there hustling 24-7, 365. That's what it says. So you know it's true. You saw it on the internet. Why are you questioning it? Merch. Check it out. You guys got to get some t-shirts, get some coffee cups. That's good stuff right there. So your trimmer is going to come with your instruction book, obviously. It's going to come with your charger battery and charger. If not, <clears throat> PowerSmart's going to have some splaining to do. So this is a um, pretty hefty 40 volt battery right here. Comes with a level indicator. Let me show you how that works. Push the button here and hold the button and you get your indicator. So we're about 66%, I guess, since there's three lights. That's a pretty big uh, 42 volt max, four amp hour. Well, that's kind of impressive for a weed eater. That's, um, that's quite a bit. So here is the charger, which is um, pretty nice. Now, I have a treat for you guys with another video. And I'm really hoping that this battery will be able to be used in the next video that I'm going to put up that has a lot to do with power smart and has a lot to do with 40 volt and it has a lot to do with lawn care. So wouldn't it be nice if we could have a spare battery? If you know what I mean. All right, so here's the shield and it comes with the little razor so you can't go too long. This is your adjustable shield. So then you can also edge with the roller, the roller guide. So we'll put all this together and I'll show you how that works. Single line weed eater head. Um, and it's adjustable. Oh, right here, right there. So that's how you adjust the angle of the dangle. Okay, and then like this if you want to edge and then up like that for weed eating. And then uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be kind of like putting together a pressure washer. This is going to go like this. I'm sure we're missing a part, a step, but this is going to go like this. It's going to go like this and you're going to screw it together like so. So, I mean, isn't that cool that you can actually just take this thing apart? Um, and store it. Okay, so we don't need this, this, or this. All right, so next thing is we need to put the handle together. They give you a spare weed eater line little spool. Looks like it's about 60 thousandths. You know, this is good. Nice little homeowner addition here. Um, here's a couple parts here. Here's this here. Obviously, this is going to go together. If you've ever put a weed eater together before, you got a bottom piece and you got this top piece. This is going to be a stand probably for holding it up. Here is another line, another spool. Now your question is, Dan, where do I buy these cartridges from? Don't worry about it. Just restring it. Just go to the hardware store, Ace, True Value, Home Depot, or a local lawn shop, and just get yourself some 40 thousandths and you'll be fine and just restring it. All right, here's more tools or uh, screws for the putting the handle together. Not exactly sure what this is for, but we'll figure that out. And then four nuts. So 
To answer the question, what's in the bag? Here's your handle. Here's your bottom base. Here's the four bolts that holds it all together. This is the centering bolt, I assume, is going to go in one of these holes that's on the shaft. Um, more than likely, this one right here. There's a hole right there that's probably like a centering, so you don't have to crank down on it too, too hard. And then that's going to, you know, where you put your hands. This, I'm not exactly sure what this is for, but we'll figure that out. And then you got your four nuts, your four screws for this and this. And then this is going to be to allow it to stand up. So let's pause the video real quick. I'll peruse the instructions on how to put this together and then I'll show you. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put your guard on. So if you notice on the head here, you're going to have a slot here and a slot here. And you got this right here, boom and boom. So you're going to go ahead and line up these slots like this. All right, and you're going to push that in. And there's a little screw right here that you're going to put right here. And so that's what's going to hold your shaft. I said shaft. Your shield in place. So I have the screw out. And then you'll take this, line it up. Just like I showed you earlier. See what we're doing here? Okay. Nice little pop. There's the whole back line back up. Put that screw back in place. And you need to make sure that you have it sturdy because you got the wheel here so you can edge. And that's this screw right here is what's going to keep the shield from moving and causing you all types of grief when you're trying to edge. So now that we have the shield on, this is the razor to keep the line from going too long. So you can, if you're like me and you like to have a little bit of a longer line, okay, you can take this razor off, just break the razor off, right? And then the line will go to here. And then it'll break when it starts hitting this plastic. Now you're gonna, you're gonna be putting the line hitting the plastic and you're gonna ruin your plastic, but that's up to you. If you need a little bit longer line, you know, you could try it. Maybe one extra little bump, you know. All right, and then you got this, which I already kind of showed you, but let me show you up close what we got going on here. Okay. So when it comes, you have that little yellow thing, and then you have these grooves at the end. So just kind of line it up, weed eater, battery, and then that little yellow groove, you see, it just goes right in there. And then give this a few turns and you're going to lock it tight. And then the only thing left to do now is put the handle on and then you slide your battery on. So the handle is pretty neat in that gives you, this is actually a vibration dampener. This is your bottom bracket with the four holes to put the screws in going up. This is the actual handle. And so you're going to take this and it's going to wrap around the pole. This is going to wrap around it. You see there's a hole here and there's the threaded part here, the nut or the screw. So it's going to be like this around the pole, the shaft. And then this is going to come around the other side of the shaft and sandwich it. And what that does is takes vibration off the handle, but it also uses this rubber to lock the handle down so you're not sliding it all over the place. So that's how that works. So let me show you real quick. Okay, so when it comes to the dampener, you got this hole right here, and then you got the dampener with the hole right here, and actually goes right here, and then you can see that the hole just barely lines up. And you're doing it, 
the holes on the bottom and you see that we did our head is this way, batteries this way. And then you take this with the screw and line this all up like so. And you have this and this. Goes like this and that, and it just sandwiches together. And that's it. Then drive your four bolts and your nuts on top. Now put your bolts in. And your nuts go into the little slot on the bottom. And then with your screwdriver, drive it in. Just get it started and then move on to the next one. But if you start going all crooked, then you're gonna have a problem. So you do your top one and then do your bottom opposite side. There, see? And then get this one started. And then once you get them all started, crank them down. All right, so once you have all four started, and it's important that you don't over tighten one, just get it barely started because if you start tightening one too much, you're gonna tweak the handle too far away from the other side and you'll never get the nut and bolt started on the opposite side. So a slight, like as soon as it grabs, then move on to the opposite corner the opposite side down at the bottom. So like put this top one in, then this one, then this one, then this one, then start tightening evenly. And you're gonna pull this bolt right here into that hole even better and um, give you even more stability as you're tightening. And if you've got a cordless, that's great. I'm sure PowerSmart has them. Check out their website. And uh, at powersmart.com, I think, I'm pretty sure. I'll put the link in the video description. Of course, I'll link to this little 40 volt little beast of a weed eater. My little trimmer special over here. See if this can go in some more. Oh yeah, look at that. And just tighten it all the way down. All right, I'll be right back and uh, I'll show you guys how it fires up. You got this is your stand goes right here. And then right here. So that stays like that. And then that's your guard for when you're trimming. That's your guide, I should say. And then you have your Like that you see and it spins I believe it's going to spin this way by the looks of the arrow which is good counterclockwise is what everything does oh did I'm a dummy so what this is is it's a protector so your strings not beating wood or beating your house paint or anything like that so the string is going to come a full thing of string will come just short is it a tap and go or it's a push button. Okay. So to make it advance, you push this button and then pull. Oh my goodness. That's pretty easy. And then, like I said, you got the razor blade that will cut it right here. So once that razor cuts it, the string will be just short of this. So you're not beating up your paint. That's what that's for. Stuff I'm not used to on commercial stuff, right? And then, so here's that. And this must be a lock or something. I'm not really sure what this is for. Oh, you could adjust the, holy cow. All right, so you can literally adjust the head 
Oh, I see. Cause see the battery's crooked, the battery sideways. So you can adjust it and now you can edge and you got the wheel right here. All right. Oh, that's cool. I didn't, Hey, I'm discovering it just like you guys. And then, um, you have this angle here too. If you're a little bit shorter, you can be a little bit closer or you could be further away. Pretty neat. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and let me show you guys real quick. The, uh, got a push button right here. You got two speed. I don't know if you can see it from your side. You got a safety push button right here. Then you got first speed, second speed. So you got two speeds uh, for the motor, I guess. And there's your little controller right here. And put this back into weed eater mode. <laughs> and back into weed eater mode. Oh, wow. You got a lot of adjustments with it. Look at that. You definitely have a lot. And then uh, the battery. And I showed you the battery has the push button. So this will go like so. And uh, let's spin this camera around. So you push this little safety button. And it just cut the excess string off. Now, I'm not going to be a pro with this weed eater because, you know, I use the long, heavy steel and stuff, but hey, let's give it a shot. I'll put the shield down. Yeah, I can't use this shield. That's in my way. All right, and then when it comes to edge, you'll push the button. Go like that. And Oh, that's the twist. That's right. Like that. Let's see. So you got a wheel. <laughs> you can't say it doesn't edge it edges and it weed eats so that's the power smart 40 volt little trimmer um it works can't say it doesn't work check out the video descriptions below you know, if you're looking for something lightweight, you don't need to put gas in it. You don't have to worry about trying to fire it up. Maybe you got a small property you just want to take care of real quick. Not a bad little option. I mean, I just used it. So if I'll try it, you could try it. All right. Um, give this thing a go. See how it is. The battery charger itself, one more thing, is it gives you your indicators when it's charging. So um, if it's solid red, then it's, it's charging. If it's blinking green or it needs a charge, if it's blinking green, then it's, it's charging. Um, if it's, if it's uh, blinking red, it's cooling off. The battery's hot. And once it's solid green, then it's charged. So too easy. All right. That's it guys. That's the power smart 40 volt cordless string trimmer. Here's the instructions in 15 different languages. So check it out. Video description will be, uh, we'll have the links in it. So you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. See how much one of these things will cost you. And, uh, you know, hey, what the heck? See ya.